everybody and welcome back to Crafting with Ms. Kendall. My name is Ms. Kendall and I work at the Wayne County Public Library Children's Department. With the arrival of spring, we're going to see lots of bugs come out of hiding and into the nice spring sunshine. And one of my favorite bugs to always see come out in spring is the ladybug. So we're going to be making a ladybug craft today, but we're going to be using a very uncommon thing for one of our craft supplies. It is an old recycled CD. So if you have any that are old and scratched up, definitely ones that you aren't using anymore, we're going to be using a CD or an old DVD for the base of our ladybug today. So the things that you will need are of course an old CD. This one I've had and it's really scratched up. It doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to recycle it with today's craft. You're going to need scissors, any kind of glue. I have a glue stick here today, but you can also use double stick or double sided tape. We're going to need something white to draw with. We're going to use this on our paper. I'm using a white colored pencil, but you can use a white crayon or even a white gel pen. You're gonna need something black to draw with. I have a marker, but you can use a crayon or a colored pencil or anything that you have. And then we're going to need red and black paper. You're also going to need an adult with you in case if you need some help. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our CD and our black paper. I have this little scrap here that I'm gonna recycle for today's craft. And we're gonna take our CD and place it right on top of the black paper. And I'm gonna use my white colored pencil to trace the outline of the DVD. And I'm using a white colored pencil because it shows up really well on that black paper so that I can see where to cut. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut out that nice circle here. All the way around. There we go. And you're going to want to save this little scrap paper for later on in the craft. So there is our first little scrap. We're then going to take our CD again and use the red paper. We're gonna set it right on top of the red paper and just like before, we're gonna trace the outline of our circle. There we go. And just like before, we're gonna cut the circle out. There we go. Cut all the way around. There we go. Whoops. And we're not going to need this anymore, but you can always recycle your old paper into other crafts. So we're going to set that aside, set our red circle aside. And with the old CD, we're going to lay that down. It doesn't matter which side that you have facing up. You can do any side you want. I think what I'm gonna do is, I want this side to show when you turn the ladybug around. So I'm gonna lay that side down and have the drawn side up. There we go. I'm gonna take my glue and just put that all over the circle that we cut out here, the black circle. And I'm gonna place that right on top of the CD. And press down so everything sticks. Sometimes the glue doesn't stick very well to the CD. And what you can do then is if you can use um, tape or if you don't want to use a CD at all, you're more than welcome not to use it. I just like using the CD because it makes a nice backing for the craft. So once as that is glued down, we're going to take a red circle and we're gonna cut it right in half. There we go. And now we have created the two wings of our ladybug. So to glue on the wings, what I like to do is line it up so that it overlaps the black circle and then shift it just a little bit so it looks like its wings are opening up. So put some glue down and place the red circle kind of off to the side so that it looks like that from the front and like that from the back. So you see how it kind of overlaps and comes out a little bit. And we're just gonna do that to both sides. 
with each little red wing. There we go. So this way, it looks like the ladybug is opening its wings up, and then you can see a little bit of its body and its wings. So now we can do a little bit of decorating. So I have a black marker here, but you can use any sort of drawing utensil you have, like a colored pencil or a crayon, or even some scrap paper from before, and you can make little black dots, just like a ladybug has. And you don't even have to do a red ladybug. There are all sorts of different colors of ladybugs out there. I usually see the orange kind, or even there's some yellow ones that are out there too. And you don't even have to do those. You can do your favorite color if you'd like to. So let me add some more dots here. Okay. So next, the ladybug needs its little antennas. So for that, what you can do is take the black paper from before, and you can cut two skinny little rectangles. And then you can also cut out two little circles. I've already gone ahead and done that. And we're going to glue the little circles onto the rectangles. So just like that. So it looks like, kind of like a little lollipop. And we're gonna do that to both circles and rectangles here. So then it makes two little antennas. And then what you can do is flip over your ladybug so that it's CD side up. And we're gonna glue these down to the CD. And again, if the glue doesn't stick very well, you can always tape your antennas to the CD. Or if you don't wanna use the CD at all, you can just glue these to the back of the paper of the ladybug. There we go. So it looks something like that, and then your little springtime ladybug is finished. So that is how you make your own springtime ladybug using a recycled CD. Again, if you don't have a CD, that's perfectly okay. You can just simply use the paper. But that is how you make today's craft. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I will see you guys next time.